Good morning. I'm Faye Thompson. Um, this morning we're going to do another family recipe. With It's a squash casserole. And we start out with six squash. And they're all at the market about this size. I've already cut up five of them and I thought I'd cut this one up and show you how we cut it up and nothing to it. But anyway, we cut them about a fourth of an inch. Uh, not very thick. And... Uh, I remember growing up at home, we always raised this variety of squash, but we had another one, and it was, a, I remember, a white flat squash, and I never see that anymore. But that was the only two squash recipes that I remember we ever raised in our garden when I was young. And, uh, but anyway, this, this recipe, I think you'll really like it if you try it. So we're going to put this over in a pot with the other. Oh. And I'll turn that on. It has to cook. This cooks about 15 minutes. I'll get that done. Let me get a spoon and we'll stir that up and... We just put enough water to cover it and uh, we'll just let that sit there and I'll start timing it when it gets started to boiling. While our squash is cooking, we are supposed to cook 12 slices of bacon. And I've already done that so you wouldn't have to sit through all that. 12 slices of bacon sliced up or chopped up and I use a Cuisinart to do it. Then we've got three onions that I've chopped up also and we're going to be cooking these while the squash is cooking. That looks like a lot of onion, but it's three onions, so I think it'll be okay. We cooked our ba bacon in this pan, and the, the bacon grease that we had left over, we're going to cook our onions in it. Our onions are almost ready now. But we're going to have to wait on our squash. It's not ready. While our squash is cooking, we're going to mix uh, this other mixture like eggs and chicken broth and cheese and crackers. Uh, but I'll tell you as we go along. We got six eggs. It's not any better. I'm finding a good place to crack my egg. Uh oh, we got problems. Can't believe we got this. Well, I'll say, I'll never have that kind of problem. Anyway, we got that done. Now, after the six eggs, we've got 14.5 ounces of chicken broth. And this is a Swanson's. I you a lot of times I make my own. Let's see. Now we're going to add our crackers. We have 15 saltine crackers, and I just put them in this bag and and put a rolling pin. And that's a good thing to crush them with. Three cups of cheddar cheese. I just use a mild cheddar cheese. Or you can use any kind you want. You can use a sharp cheddar cheese if you want to. Now, our salt and pepper is just to taste. So, I'm just guessing it is. I'd say about that. Pepper.
tiny bit of cayenne pepper. We don't want to get too much of that. Of course, I like spicy food, but I think that's going to be enough of that. Okay, we just mix all of this together real good. And what we're going to do is when the squash and the onions and the bacon all cook, we're going to mix this in with it. We'll have that waiting for us. Okay, our squash has been cooking now for 15 minutes. We're going to take it over to the sink and we're going to run it through a colander and get the water off of it. We're going to turn our onion pan back on and we're going to pour the squash over into the onion. And we're going to also pour the bacon that we crumbled up. We're going to pour that in there. This is 12 slices of bacon, six squash, and three, three onions. That's what's in this pan. And it's got to cook for 15 minutes. I think at this stage of the squash cooking with the bacon and the onion, it's a pretty dish. It looks so good cooking, and you can't imagine how good it smells. Oh, it smells great. Okay, now our squash and bacon and onion is ready, but we don't want to mix all of this at once into our liquids, so I'm just going to put a spoon or two in here and stir it up and wait. I'm going to let this cool off about 10 minutes before I mix the two together, and then we'll mix them together and it will be ready to go in the oven. You don't want to mix that all at once because it'll cause your eggs to cook in there too fast. We're ready to mix our liquids with our onions and squash and bacon. And uh, we, had, we let this sit a little while and cool because of the eggs. Uh, better not to mix those too quick. We let it sit for about 10 minutes. We're ready to put this in the casserole. We have preheated our oven at 350 degrees. And uh, it's going to be a big casserole. Okay, we're ready for the casserole. This is an anvil. Let me get a spoon. And I'll get the rest of that out. Okay. Now we have it in. Now we have to cover this. We're going to cook it in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. casserole is finished cooking but it's really a good squash casserole and I hope you cook it and I hope you enjoy it as much as my family does and I sure appreciate you watching thanks a lot bye bye